Hey guys, I just thought I'd like to show you the thing that I picked up a couple days ago. I got a spare cylinder head for my 63 AMC Rambler, the 196 overhead valve, for a whopping $50. And it looks like it's uh, complete and in pretty good shape. There's a minimal rust inside of here, but it seems to all be surface rust. It flakes off really easily. That should clean up well. It's a uh, Got no signs of heavy rust, no obvious cracks. I still have to magnaflex it. It's a very crude looking head. Simple overhead six cylinder, three liter. And the Nash motors, like this one, all use an intake trough. There's a plate that mounts on top of here where the carburetor and vacuum attachments mount to. It sits on here. That's your intake plane. And then your intake valves are here. Pretty simple design. Uh, if we look over here, let's see if I can tilt this big heavy thing up. It's about 85 pounds. Here are your exhaust ports. Two cylinders share a port. They're Siamese. The center one's slightly larger for whatever reason I don't know because the inside port is no bigger. Pretty uh, even burn. This one and this one look like they were running a little lean. The rest of them look pretty good. We can peer down into the exhaust. Let's see if I can tilt this up again so you can see it manipulating this thing. Prop it up on my foot. I don't know if you can see that in there. There's one exhaust valve. Right back up in there. Pretty burned. And then there's the other one, it looks like it's had like a seizure or something, some bare metal sticking out there. There's another. That one looks pretty charred. That one's really stuck. That one doesn't look too great either. It looks like some coolant got passed in there or something. That's not a good sign. Maybe it's just charring. Who knows? It looks a lot better here than it does in the camera, that's for sure. Now you'll notice in the ports here, they've got that hump thing. Each one of these, they've got a hump. And a coolant passage runs through there. And it helps get rid of the heat in the head much quicker. It's kind of a strange design. And if you look at the center port, if you look up, I don't know if you can see that there, but there's this kind of cavity thing here, this little raised trough portion up here. Can't really see it that well. But what they were trying to do here is redirect the exhaust gases underneath the trough because the trough sits directly above this point here. The trough is right there. It hits this plate, warms this plate. This is where the carburetor sits when the trough is on it. And the purpose of that was to quickly warm the carburetor so there didn't have to be any restrictive heater hoses or anything like that. Very ingenious design actually. And they uh, managed to actually get it so that the exhaust ports are evenly placed among the intake ports. So that means even heating for the entire intake plane and correct atomization for everything. Uh, if I pull the spark plugs on my working head on the running car, all of the spark plugs have an even burn. There's not one that's too rich, there's not one that's too lean. So everything is very evenly distributed. This is very good design. Uh, given what it is. 
uh, we can take a peer down here into the intake and they kind of sink the valve way down in there. The intake valve is way down there. You really can't see it with this light. Somewhere down there is an exhaust valve. There's the top of one of them there. There's another one in there. They do them at an angle too. It's kind of weird. So yeah, very, very simple engine design, but it works. Now the reason why I got this head was A, to have a spare, and B, to do some experimentation on it to see if I could increase the performance ever so slightly, because right now it's pretty much just a gutless wonder. You're getting maybe 85 horsepower at the wheels with a 3 liter. Uh, just doesn't seem right. I did recurve the distributor uh, using an example I got from Tom Jennings' website, which is WPS.com. You might want to check it out if you're a Rambler fanatic. He also uh, is kind of in love with this 196 engine. Um, but what I want to do, I want to create a custom intake manifold, keep this plate here, and have three small throttle bodies, or maybe just three small intake pipes, which run up to an intake manifold that has a large throttle body on the front of it, and then in the spare spots, mount some injectors here. Wouldn't have to be big injectors, maybe just, you know, 19 pound or something like that. Uh, that's pretty much all you would ever need for the 3 liter. And then, uh, just manage everything with a mega squirt like an MS2E or an MS3 system, something like that. So that's uh, really the reason why I wanted to get this head. Also, uh, from what I remember about this motor, the piston to valve clearance is huge. It's only like an 8, well, it's an 8.7 to 1, they say. But it's almost got flat top pistons, and you've got all this room up in here. So I was thinking either maybe changing to a, a dome piston or, or something. Uh, I can't really clear this away, unfortunately, because that's coolant passage. But uh, maybe install some slightly bigger valves. Uh, I definitely want to try a different cam in this, have the cam reground. It's uh, overall the duration on the cam, the average duration is really short. It's about maybe 215, 220. Uh, the lift on the valves is like 0.37 on the intake and uh, 0.35 on the exhaust. Really just pathetic. So I think with a little bit of head work and a better cam, uh, more lift, just moving more air through this motor is going to make it run so much better. So that's kind of a future project. Uh, I will going to take this down to the machine shop here and uh, have them check it out, make sure it's not cracked. Maybe investigate putting some larger valves in, maybe something from like a small block Chevy that has more common parts, because a set of valves for this engine are pretty expensive. A couple hundred bucks for a set of valves and springs for this. As opposed to, you know, uh, $150, $175 for a set of 12 valves from a small block. But anyway, simple musings. Um, this is just going to be one of those kind of rainy day back burner projects, so no rush on this one. But in any case, if you're a Rambler fanatic, maybe you'll be interested. Maybe you've also got a Rambler with a 196 that you want to see scoot a little faster. I'm kind of interested to do a before and after, like on a dyno, and figure out what it puts down stock versus what it puts down when it's all finished. So maybe something later. But in any case, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, and have a great day. Stay tuned for more vintage goodies.